All right, it's that time of the year, graduation season, time to turn the tassel, go to the next chapter. So it's one thing to graduate, but imagine being valedictorian and having perfect attendance from kindergarten through 12th grade. Now imagine that your brother does the same thing and you guys wait from the same family. It's true. That's exactly what these guys have gone through. It's Quentin and Quincy Loy here with me today. How are you guys? Good. Good, Good. to see you. So when we first heard about this, I said, wait a minute, they're brother and sister. You're what, five years apart? Yeah, five apart. years apart. And so you first then, right? Yep. You have perfect <laughs> attendance and valedictorian. And then five years later, you. Yep. That's incredible. I told, I told your parents they should write a book. <laughs> um, tell me first, like your experience, like no one thinks they're going to be valedictorian. You know, you work hard and then all of a sudden you get it. What was your reaction, not only with you, but then when she did it too? I think it just takes a lot of hard work and uh, it meant a lot laying the foundation and trailblazing so that she would have a path to follow um, and like a, an older role model and the family to look up to. And, and you're, tell me what you're doing right now. So uh, current, I went to Wake Forest undergraduate um, and from there I'm now a third year medical student at Wake Forest Med School. Okay, good. So he's not smart. So we got, that, <laughs> we got that out of the way. All right, now tell me about you. You're graduating high school this year, Yes, right? sir. What, I, what school? Uh, Eastern Alamance High School. I'm also graduating from Alamance Community College with my associates in arts degree. At, so you get two degrees. Two degrees. Tell me about the ACC thing, because you, you told me like you're, you got an award. Yes, the North Carolina Community Colleges, there's an um, award for academics, and they pick one that represents them, um, the college, and I got elected by Mr. John Nethery. He's a teacher there, he's a professor. He um, elected me, and they went to North Carolina Community Colleges, and they voted on it, so um, yes. What, was Quentin right, Quincy? Do you, uh, did you look up to him like, I, mean, oh, I know yeah. brother and sisters fight. Let's get, I know oh, yeah. that. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, he said, kind of set the guidelines. Yes, right? he did. He um, has been a role model for me a lot. So yeah. Was that pressure? I'm thinking if I'm the younger. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because you see there what was, he did. Oh like, yeah, there was some pressure definitely. <laughs> but I decided like it's my story so I just did my own thing and I ended up right where and he was. Worked. Yeah. It worked. So um, when people hear this, like people outside the family, wh what are the reactions? Wow. Amazed. <laughs> they don't find it difficult, hard to believe. That's, that's funny. Your parents, I, I literally, I did so they're hiding over there in the <laughs> corner. I told them they should write a book. Tell me what were like the guidelines, because I'm a parent and I'm not, I need this advice. How do you get your kid to follow these rules and be that strict? I mean, that, how does that happen? Yeah. Either of you. Yeah. Oh, yeah for me. I think just setting a good role model themselves yeah. and the way they carry themselves. Um, something that always meant a lot with them, always being there at award ceremonies for mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Always having your back, even if it was an inconvenience of them. And seeing how much they valued our education made us want to invest into our educations ourselves. What do you think, Quincy? It's the same thing? Yes, they saw our potential and knew what we could achieve, and then they just pushed us there because they grew up and they knew what it takes, so they helped lay the path. They were the main ones who laid the path. Quentin was a role model, but they really yeah. helped it helped a lot. They came to support, come to all sporting events. We always go out to eat as a dinner as a family. We're very family-oriented, so yeah, it very we're very close. Yeah, that's the way it works. That's the way it works. And you want to go to law school hopefully one yes, day, right? Yes, sir. That's what you're thinking. She's shadowing a judge, I think, right now. Yes, so, sir. Hey, congratulations to both of you. Very successful. Yes. I'm glad you guys came in today. Thank, Thank you, you for much. having us. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.